Hey guys, welcome. Okay, so let's continue on with this game. Does we have anything to say? I love playing through the Goof Bombastic Adventure with you, Mr. Honorary Knight and Paimon. Thanks for playing with me. Do we walk you back home later? Oh, right. I can't stay out too late. I'll behave and go home when it's time for bed. Yeah, it's the reason why when it's nighttime, but Queen I know disappears. My way home. Let's meet back here in the morning. The reason it's the reason why she disappears during the night is because well, kids cannot go. Kids cannot stay late. <laughs> oh wait, 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 wait. There is one more. I'm here for fun too. Let's go, let's go. Uh Kui is just so cute. So let's finish the last two and then I'm gonna go back to uh Bright Crown to search for Albedo. And definitely for sure Albedo's gotta be there. The Bright Crown Canyon. So spiky sneaky grass hide special dumpty. Jumpy Dumpties. Destroying this seagrass will gain you the eight additional special Jumpy Dumpties. Oh, okay. But how am I supposed to know? Oh, oh, there's a sign. Oh, that's not good. I do not know what to do with this one. Oh, oh. Let's repeat that. Uh... Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what to do with this one. So let's go and move on to the last one. <laughs> Uh... All right, whatever. <laughs> Dodoko defeated lots of bad, spiky fish warriors. 
Even the Spiky Fish King was no match. Gotta go jumpy jumpy and please Specs and Splash are the best. Truly unstoppable. Take that, fat fish. Hmm. This game reminds Paimon of the incident happening in Cider Lake. Did Lisa base its theme on that? Uh, but come to think of it, why go to the trouble of finding the invading <laughs> species when they could just ask Clea to blow up every suspicious fish? <laughs> because she might, well, bombs don't exactly discriminate, you know. She could end up blowing even the fish that, that are from Monster. They could even give us some bombs and let us handle this. You and Clea are like two peas in a pod. Well, well. From the looks on your faces, it seems like you're having fun. It's Lisa! You're here! We loved playing Doriko's fantastic adventure. What a fun game you designed! Thanks for playing. I'm glad you enjoyed mm. it. <laughs> hmm. Perhaps I should come up with some new updates? <laughs> to see Doroko going on adventures in all kinds of places. No, wait. You must have spent a long time working on the game. It must be exhausting. We shouldn't make Lisa work too hard. Aww. Please, so sweet. Aw, thank you for being so considerate. But if it helps keep you happy while you stay inside the city, I'll be more than happy to spend as much time as needed. Of course, I understand that you prefer going on your own adventures whenever you like. The game is just meant to be a new way to pass the time. Anyway, I have some great news. And I've also brought a gift for you cuties. A gift? <gasps> Actually, I have a gift for Mr. Unwary Knight and Paimon, too! Aww. We'll get to the gifts in a moment. Let me tell you the news first. Is the incident inside your lake resolved? That's right. Two knights from the investigation team found the invasive species nest and swiftly disposed of it. The knights have also determined the cause of their invasion. Oh, really? Let's hear it. The species were accidentally introduced to the lake by a merchant without any malicious intent. So the knights <laughs> let her go after some lecturing and issuing a fine. So who's the merchant? <sighs> Luckily, Wait. they didn't cause too much trouble. But even Paimon thinks that merchant was way too careless. The water inside our lake estate malls has wine industry is Is it safe. time for gifts yet? Can Klee go first? <laughs> when she mentions the merchant, someone comes into mind. You know, some... A merchant from Samaru. <laughs> no, it cannot be her. It could... It's probably just a coincidence that the merchant is female. Of course. Klee's been returning home on time every day without being reminded by anyone. So, I've been wondering what you're up to lately. Is it because of the gate? <laughs> when I was home at night, I looked through Alfredo's crafting book and learned to make this. What? <gasps> no. Da -da -da. Oh, it's uh, it's not, it's not dangerous, is it? Because I mean, she did got it from Albedo's stuff, and um, being an alchemist, uh. Whoa! It's Donico doing a jumpy dumpty. Yep, I made a figure that looks like the Donico from Donico's Bombastic Adventure. Even though I can't make it throw real bombs. <laughs> That's much more safer, Ned. I hope it'll remind you of the fun we had together and blast away your troubles and boredom. A big Donico toy! Oh, Paimon loves surprises like this! With this, it'll feel like we're adventuring with Klee and Donico wherever we go! Thank you for the creative and thoughtful gift, Glee. Dodoko will come with us on all our adventures from now on. <laughs> I'm Let's so happy you like my gift. I worked super hard on it. What's your gift, Lisa? I want to see. Well, I'm afraid my gift is a lot less creative than yours. 
It's a storybook about Dodico's bombastic adventures. Ah. <gasps> An adventure story! Yay! Oh, a whole storybook! The little cuties return to Mondstadt and join Clee on an adventure with Dodico. Together, they defeated the bad spiky fish warriors and then enjoyed an afternoon tea. <laughs> A most fitting way to end Dodico's bombastic adventure. Yeah, it does. Did you plan out the whole story <laughs> while designing the game? No. As the protagonists of the story, you, little cutie, and Klee all played an important part in bringing the story to life. I've left a blank spot in the book specially for illustrations. Oh. But I just thought of an even better idea. Since we're all here on this special occasion, why don't I take a photo of you together? Sure! We got to see our friends and play games together! That's definitely worth celebrating! You gotta treasure the small joys in life. Let's take a group photo. Now let's... let's Come on then, Mr. Honorary Knight and Paimon! Ready, Lisa? Lisa should also come with us, too. We had so much fun today. Three, two, one. Da -da -da! <laughs> Aww. Aww. That looks very nice. Price is relieved, a happy memento. Okay, but first, let's let's head to Bright Canyon. Uh, and since let's ad also adjust the time, since Klee can only come out at. during the daytime maybe just maybe time to go Okay, we're here, but time to go. There has to be somewhere down there, right? <laughs> oh no. I'm triggering Paimon, I think. <laughs> No way. It's gotta be somewhere around here. the wrong click. Hmm. 
I'm just finding some treasures here. Cue the spotlight! Now I just need to get my hands on the rest. Nature. Tidal wave. I really can't find them. We're already on site or late. It can't be. Harbingers are up to flooding and scheming on an uh, ever grander scale, no doubt. Is also talking about it why did that uh food courier mention bright crown the bright crown canyon then it is isn't it just so that we should check out right the canyon Over here. Yeah. Bring it on. Now I just need to get my hands on the rest. No time to lose. The only ones in here are enemies. Wait, where did it go? The one that that can lead me up. Oh. But since the event is over, doesn't that mean that... No time to lose! There you are, eavesdropper! Time to go! But if we go so far over the edge, we will trigger timing. Yeah, but it says here that we're just at the edge of Bright Crown Canyon. So it's somewhere above? No way. Right? They're so far at the edge of Bright Crown Canyon. And if we go down from here now it'll be I follow the wind oh no oh no I think we're going to trigger we're going to trigger <laughs> we're going to end up triggering Paimon 
No way. It can't be. <laughs> If we go any further down, we'll be inside our lake, so... Yeah, that should be out, but... What the heck, Belle? It doesn't mention Bright Town Canyon until we reach over here, so what's up with that? That is so weird. Anyways, uh, let's go to Good Hunter. Mm, maybe we can get some clue. Or, I think, let's go and talk to Lisa. She should be in the library, right? I can also check out the uh, the alchemist table. Okay, so Lisa is not here. Let's go to the alchemist table. Is there really nothing? It is so weird. Why in the world would you mention Bright Crown when there is nothing to see there? No albedo there. Nothing in here either. That's really it. There's nothing more. Oh. Oh well. I guess uh, that's it for today's video. Huh. That is so anticlimactic. <laughs> I was expecting something. I was expecting something at Bright Brown Canyon. <laughs> Klee doesn't seem to be here anymore because the event has just been over. Yeah, she's not here anymore. So yeah, that's it for today's video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, probably... Once... Uh... Just a minute. We are looking at how to pronounce this name from Genshin and to learn more. Alright, I know the spelling is confusing, so it's not Ryophusly, 
you essentially ignore the W, ignore the I-O-T-H, and just spell it R-E-S-L-E-Y. Reesley is how you want to say it. Oh, I forgot to I forgot to pause it. Sorry. But apparently uh it's Risley. Is that it? is that how you pronounce his name? Why is this why is the spelling of his name so different from how you're supposed to pronounce it? Anyways, we still got one day left. Until then. Yeah. See you guys in the next video.